December 1st, 2016, 9.30 in the morning. And my volunteer fruit tree forest is starting to lose its leaves, finally. There were three more, but they died out. It was a little too crowded for them. And to survive this drought we're having, it's a miracle. And this one has come up between the two fences. This one's the oldest one. I think it's four years old now. And this is their third season for those. There was just a couple of blossoms, but it just hasn't been cold enough. And this one came up two years ago. It hasn't had a whole lot of foliage on it, but it did bloom last year a little bit. Then my avocado tree from seed. I don't even remember how old it is. I've got it printed out on the computer. 11 years old? And all that time I've got three avocados off of it. They were very tasty. And this is desert gold. Bears a lot of fruit. Normally, last year, nothing did well. But she's losing her leaves. California snow. No, not losing enough of them yet. And the fig. It's dropped a few leaves. That one I bought also. Turkey fig. Excellent bearing fig tree. And ginger big yellow feet. My ginger big yellow feet. And here is a four year old volunteer peach tree, like the little one in the garden. The peach has always been small, kind of flavorless, and then one of those branches came down and took out half the tree last fall. So this whole half of the tree is missing, which is fine. Well, it went crazy this year. Huge peaches. Unfortunately, they're cling. Oh, my lima beans. Unfortunately, they're cling peaches. And I need to bring that thing down. But it gave me a whole lot on the branches that were left from being mashed. And all of this is this year's growth. Then we have the pink lemonade tree. The poor thing has always been miserable. I bought the only one they had left and it wasn't in too good a shape when I bought it. You know, you think I would learn. Don't buy the last thing. And look, we have clouds. Do you think it might rain again? Eh, I doubt it. And then that other tree, where the fruit is just starting to change color, is my Tangelo. She's about 22 years old, I think. The trick with her, the thing with her is don't pick them until May, otherwise they are sour. They look good, but Tangelos need to stay on a lot longer than what you might think. Doesn't look like there's going to be a bumper crop this year. It was a bumper crop last year. It's an every other year tree. I gave bags and bags away more the tangelo from underneath and the way I keep the white flies at bay is I just hose them down 
I don't use any pesticides. Just come out with a garden hose and spray the heck out of everything from underneath. Bugs don't like to be wet. So I just spray them with the water hose. May take a few blasts. And for some reason, I had no white fly anywhere this year.